Hey, my friend, welcome to this episode of the Daily Writer Podcast. Today is the third entry in our mini series on dealing with rejection. Now, as you probably know, the publishing world has changed radically in the last 15 years or so. In the past, before that time, you would have to go through some kind of a gatekeeper in order to get your message heard by others. And this typically meant finding an agent who would then pitch your book idea to publishers until one of them offered you a contract. But you no longer have to do this. Now, of course, you still can, but there are plenty of other options such as hybrid publishing or self-publishing. You don't really need anybody's permission these days to get your writing out to readers. Now, rejection doesn't only happen when it comes to publishing, of course. You can also be rejected by podcasters, social media people, book reviewers, collaborators, clients, among others. And the possibility of rejection lies around every single corner, but so does the possibility of acceptance. As my good friend Vincent Puglisi, host of the Total Life Freedom podcast, says, go where you're celebrated. For every individual who rejects you, there are a hundred, maybe even a thousand people who will absolutely love you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find and gather those people. Then you will become the gatekeeper who has the power and the credibility to then turn around and help other people. Here's today's question. Are you relying on any gatekeepers for your success? If so, what can you do to move past them and begin to create your own success? Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. For more, you can visit us at dailywriterlife.com. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.